I just got on a 5 day Royal Caribbean cruise and for a lack of better words, it wasn't amazing. Many subpar food selections, issues from false advertisements and AC trouble all on our first day and even more ridiculous problems that we had on Royal. And we, I mean me and Huang, my bunkmate on this trip. I'ma save the rest of my complaints after I show you the rest of our vacation because at the end of the day, we had the $1,000 drink package that included all drinks including all, which we had a lot of fun exercising, as there was only a 10 minute wait time between ordering a new drink. So I'm at the Women Jammer, and I just got some American food. Uh, I had no burger, uh, I'm gonna be honest. It's a two, this burger is dry, it's not good. It's a two, it sucks. The fries are good though. Alright guys, that is the Miami Heat Stadium, also known as the 2024 NBA Championship. I'm gonna start. <laughs> Where are you laughing at? He's watching like fuck We're skipping. We're skipping the casino. <laughs> You're gonna choke. Oh my god, make it a scene. Let's go. This is day three of the Freedom of the Seas, and I got a drink, if you know what I mean. Nah, this is the Strawberry Blonde. I really like it. It uh, has mint, uh, lime juice, uh, Tito Vodka, <laughs> and um, did I say lime juice? Lime juice and um, uh, Strawberry liqueur. Yeah, this is my fourth one. Well, fifth if you're counting the one that I had a few hours ago.
Now in coming the bad, so although I had a fun time on this cruise, I'm going to be very critical, starting with the issues I had on day one. This advertisement, our first issue began when the room we bid on was not the one that appeared on the website. Right, you're explaining that to me now, but when I bid for it, I bid for this cabin. That that was what's on your website, does that make sense? Uh, you see the picture, that's This is the Royal Caribbean website, this is the scale up Royal agree, Caribbean agree, website. Agree. So there's an issue there because that's false advertising. If you're showing this picture and we're getting this picture, does that make sense? Therefore, we went to customer service and it took three to four workers to help us explain their case. But at the end of the day, we were correct on all of them since we had proof of the website photo that was linked to the room that we had won the bid on. So we ended up getting a non-disclosed credit for future Royal Caribbean cruises. But that was after the second visit we had to customer service and only because of the AC, which was problem number two. The AC didn't work and we didn't find out until the second time going to our room. They first sent a guy to fix it, but it still wasn't working so we had to call again and the second time it was fixed but then later we discovered that the refrigerator in our state room was also not working which we called again and they fixed it in the beginning of day two next up food my biggest compliments is the wait time for it in carnival if you wanted a slice of pizza you usually have to wait in a long line because they cook it the minute you order it which can be very inconvenient since it's the only food past a certain time of the night that is available at least royal caribbean solution to this issue is to make everything more ready to serve from pizzas to the burritos just like an alito deck but even for individual spots where food is available and on the subject before i express my displease with the food on the boat i will start with the things i loved about the food for starters the drinks that i had were pretty amazing i always got the strawberry blonde and pita coladas all that juan always got pina coladas or straight up vodka martinis they also have coke freestyle machines and although there are only two on boat and a lot of the syrups were not restocked for most of the duration of the vacation it's still convenient when you don't want to go up to a bartender for coke products and back to the pizza this pizza was my go-to for all of my in-between between meals it was very good i don't know if i should rank it since it's a 24 7 ready to serve pizza joint but it's around the same line of pizza Riza from hollywood studios maybe slightly better also i had ben and jerry's ice cream cookies and cream and holy crap look how good this looks it's crazy that i had four nights of formal dinner and dessert and yet this one was the best and now on to my displeasures as a burger enthusiast i was offended by the quality of the ingredients that i assembled in the lido deck for starters the patty was border line quarter pounder it's closer to crystal burger four times more than it's closer to the guy's fury burger joint that's on a competitor ship it was not good and i was disappointed the mexican food also was a mess as the quesadillas were barely cooked no golden brown here and the topping section was just inconvenient also the sour cream was like ranch it's supposed to have a more thicker consistency and back to formal night we did have many dishes sent back because we did not enjoy the quality most notably the chicken parmesan which we compared to fantastic Four diner at islands of adventure yikes and finally the pillowcase on the final night we were slowly starting to appreciate the cruise and what it had to offer until juan had a yellow stain pillowcase presented to him right before bedtime so this was the last and final straw but we didn't call customer service because it was you know late and we we're just like simply done so we just threw it across the room and the reason why i'm saying yellow stain is because urine is a severe accusation i, I mean it could be drool it could be dye it, regardless it was a little icky and shocking for royal standards and that's pretty much it i have a few nitpicks but i'll save that for later it's crazy that i went on this cruise at 11 years old 10 years later i definitely noticed a decline in overall quality i'm sure i'll eventually get on the good cruises like icon coming soon and will be very excited for that seeing the rendered photos of what's going to be included makes me excited but unfortunately for the time being for my first royal caribbean cruise in nearly a decade i have to give this a 6 out of 10.